everybody different. But at the same time, it's just more so about communication. I feel like that's key. Big. Because that's what a lot of that's what a lot of like lack. relationships lack, man. Yeah. It's communication, bro. Like your girl get mad at you because you didn't text her or you didn't tell her. You gave her basically some opposite of what she thought you was doing. Like so, it's it's just more so like along the regiment, like so. I want to hear red. So no, it's, real. So it, 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 it's true though. It's true though. Because think about it this way: like if you gonna have a boys' night and, you're out, and you out all day, and your girl texting you, she didn't hit you, she didn't call your phone and stuff. Right. You and your phone automatically. I'm just gonna be real. You gonna be on Instagram. You are gonna be texting. You you gonna be doing something, checking highlight ESPN. Whatever you got going on, you I, and your I, phone. I'm attack me because I don't know. No, yeah, it's, not, it's, it's not even that. It's not even that, bro. No, like, I'm, 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 joking, I'm, joking, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. If your girl out and you texting your girl, it's cool. Is this, if, she, if my girl out on a girl's night, I'm not gonna aggravate. I'm not blowing up her phone, bro. But what you mean? She, all girl she girl gotta do is let me know. Like, no, hey, no, babe, we're not, I'm going to get her. Stop! 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 That shit aggravating, right? Let's stop. This nigga no, flip no, no, let's stop, let's stop, let's stop, let's stop. Ladies, ladies. She already communicated with me, she I going out, you. so why am I so going up my phone? Ladies, ladies. But you just said that you ladies. had a boys on your girl hitting you, and it's ladies. okay. Stop, let the ladies answer. That's cool. <laughs> that's, 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 that's that question. Listen. She, if I'm gonna, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all two gonna, don't calm down, let the ladies answer. That's what they gonna do, bro. Ladies. Am I lying, though? I think it's First, Rachel. I'm gonna give you my point of view on it. Oh, Rachel, bro. Kick it to me. She comes now. Okay. Kick it to me. So. I am very big with with communicating. Like, if you don't communicate with me, it's a very big pet peeve. Yeah. But I'm a very prideful person. So, if I see you on Instagram, I'm I'm gonna I'm send you one double text, and I see you post another story. So I'm, I I clock everything. If I send you a text <laughs> at nine fifty, like at nine fifty, right? You post on your story That's an hour it. after that. I know for a fact. That you seen that I texted your phone because my notification had to be on your phone before you unlocked your phone. Right. So you don't text me back. I'm just be like, okay. But after that, like, then it's gonna be a problem. But I'm not gonna blow up your phone. Hold on, let me no, ask you. Stop, 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 stop. Hold that question. Because, <laughs> Hold it. Let because finish, my finish. pride is too big to go out like that. I feel like at that point, I'm, for one, I'm doing way too much. Because at this point, what's blowing up your phone isn't going to make you hit my phone even more. I mean, not not make not make you my phone, but it's not gonna make you not gonna take the any faster because obviously you, it's some reason you don't want to communicate so back. Fancy. But at this point, it's gonna be an issue. Yeah. So fancy is it the same for you? Um. Okay. So I'm not really a relationship type of girl <laughs> right now. Maybe that might change in the future. Okay. So let's change the question up okay. a little bit since you said you're not a relationship. Type yeah. Of girl. The, the dudes who you deal with. Generally. Okay. Okay. What is the so the expectation around communication because Clyde mentioned that okay communication it's big to me to a certain level okay like just if we're supposed to be doing something at a certain time right. type of stuff and you you're the one that hit me up like okay like this time I want to do something blah blah and it's getting closer to that time and I'm not hearing from you like no text or none of that and I see you posted up on Instagram like blah blah I'm going to feel some type of way because all you had to do was let me know, hey, I'm busy, like, let's reschedule, stuff like that. So that's going to piss me off. But since I'm not, like, on these niggas like that, I'm not even going to text you. Like, I see you out doing your thing. I'm going to go out and do my thing. Like, I don't really care. <laughs> Got you. So, so, so it, it, go ahead, Rachel. Go ahead. I just, my thing with communicating <laughs> is I just feel like it takes less than 10 seconds to send a quick message. Right. And that's that's why it's just so big on my end because I'm like it takes like less than five seconds to shoot a text message to be like hey I'm finna go to this spot with my boys boom boom I like I don't mind you drinking because I know when I'm out drinking I'm not like finna be on my phone I might make a quick story but I'm not always texting people back and stuff so for you to just send a quick message just like you could do that real quick because you reply back to the group messages you reply back to your boys group messages <laughs> yeah. So why can't you just do. shoot me a quick message? If if your boy hit you up and say, "Hey, no. want to slide to this spot afterwards?" You're gonna reply back. But you can shoot me a message as well. <laughs> okay. I feel like I feel like these niggas they more right. love. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're more in love with their homeboys than us. Uh, oh, I'm confused oh, 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 about that. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Y'all too chill. Why? Hey, no, no fancy. No, stop. I'm with him on that fancy. Shit, it be happening, bro. What you just said. Mm-hmm. You feel like dudes are more in love with their homeboys. Yeah. Go into oh, depth man. about that. What are you talking about? Like, okay, so. 
Okay, so <laughs> let's say that I'm out with my homegirls, you know, girl mm-hmm. not out, we've been drinking, blah, blah. If the nigga I'm dealing with at the time were to, like, hit me up, like, on so, yeah, it. like on some come over I type shit, like wants me to leave. Shit. Instead of my nigga hit me I'm up, I'm gonna be I'm like, okay, bye shit. y'all. Like I had a fun. Like, I'm trying to dip I'm out, right? Finish. I'm trying to dip <laughs> out, but I feel like if it's a if it's the nigga, he's out like you know dice game, making some money type of shit. He out with his homeboys playing yeah, game, whatever. If I hit him up, like <laughs> come over, whatever. He's gonna have me wait. He's not even gonna text me back like, "Oh, I'm doing something right now." He's gonna do what he needs to do or what he wants to do with his homeboys, and then when they done, and when he has free time, he gonna hit me back up like. So it's like they put their homeboys like up top right here, and I'm like, it's so different with us girls. Rachel, do you feel like it's the same way? Do you feel like? Oh, 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 no, no, no. So, so let me let me reframe the question a little bit. I'm I'm not sure. No, no, stop. I'm not sure you understand exactly what just happened right there. Fancy just said that she feels like her dude will put her on pause for the homies. Do you feel like that happens? Or that, or in your experience, has that been your experience? It has been my experience to a certain point. But I I am a very direct and open person. So any any time I feel like what, I'm going to let you know. So I've had some times where I, like there have been some guys that has, I felt that their homeboys was more of a priority, but it's either gonna fix that or I'm gonna leave because so, they're not gonna be a priority. So I generally do not cut off our guests. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna slightly cut you off here. Let's watch this, gentlemen. <laughs> what is the God code? You leave the boys for your girl. But I think we different than that. No, but we're not. I, I think we I, different I, I think than that. Because yeah. it's just like, are your homeboys Can I, going to give you what I'm giving you? Are you going back home? No. Are you going back home to your <laughs> homeboys? To the no. But exactly. some of them are. Well, 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 some well, some well, of them. No. Hold on. Oh, no, 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 now there are relationships where I'm not trying to say it's anyone's fault, but if I'm if I'm out with my boys and you like yo babe come home and watch this TV show with me, I'm be like all right I'm gonna be there in a minute. But if it's like yo babe let's go out and let's do some shit me and you, if you trying to get tough with me and have a night me and you, it's different than you being like hey I'm just I'm trying to you trying to go out with your boys to this club but I'm trying to stay in the crib and do nothing. Now, but that's went, not doing nothing. You with your let girl, me, like, oh, no, 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 like, no, no, I understand you know? that. Let but me fix this. I, I, I got hope for you. Yeah, fix it. Fix no, it. let me. You know what I'm no, 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 yeah, you. you. Yeah, I said let, it me, let me associate this, like, and bring it in. There is no group of straight guys that ever hold their boys to a level where ever hanging out with, and I mean, it could be any female woman who they deal with. That's like, yo, like, <laughs> bounce, and we gonna be mad at them ever in life. Like, yo. I might drive his ass there if you need to get there. It's like, yo, you got to get home. That's facts. I will get you there. Stop poking me. Uh, he, he, he poking me. My, my shoulder hurts. Pause, pause. pause. Uh, pause, pause. Uh, like he bit my shoulder hurting and shit. I'm like, I hate y'all for doing that. Don't, don't. It, it, it's necessary. Oh my, it's not. It's necessary. We know y'all not like that. But not after what she just said on this. Okay, okay, okay. Don't fucking me. Don't fucking me. Okay. Yeah, we ain't gonna do that. Like, okay, but not. But the point is, but, but, but the point is though, like. Among guys, like the regular everyday guys, it's a very simple rule. Very simple rule. Very simple. Very. If you need to ditch us, go. For your girl, mm-hmm. you go. I'm not going to be angry. I'm not going to think about Like, I'm not going to text you like, where you been? I'm like, not going like, yo, nothing. oh, you need to go? Cool. You need to help you get there? Cool. Especially if it's a void of argument or something like that. Like, we like, yo, get your ass up out of here. <laughs> That's how we generally are. All right, but look, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a switch. I'm going to switch oh, real quick. Well, first of all, Rachel has something to say. Oh, yeah, ladies. So, first. I don't think it's more of like, come home. I would never interrupt, like, a guy's time to just be like, hey, I want you to come home. Is that if you're out with your boys already. Because... I'm not doing that if my man hit me up. So you don't never flex home. your muscle. <laughs> so you don't never flex your muscle like, listen, I'm I'm the girl. If I get I'm, to do that. If I'm at home chilling and you already out your homeboys, I'm not going to text you and be like, hey, I want you to come home and watch a TV show. 
Why? Okay, Cause okay, okay. I just feel like it's two different vibes at this point. You are probably lit. Yeah. You will come home on a whole different type of vibe. It's and I just feel like it's it's y'all time. Like you, you have your time with your boys or whatever. But my thing is like if I say I want to go on a date this weekend, mm-hmm. next weekend come and you're just like oh I'm not really feeling it. But then your boys hit you up and oh all of a sudden you go out like what the fuck? Cause mm-hmm. now yes. now now it's like okay so you can go out for them. Cause then I actually had a situation happen before you, so where you, so you've had this happen and your had guy has happen. not going out with you. Okay, it, it'll be like, hey, I'm finna go outside because I actually go out a lot. I'll be like, hey, I, I'm finna go outside. You want to come? Nah, I don't really feel like it. But then, like, you can go out with your LBs, or you can go out with your homeboys, or you can go out with such and such. And now, and now that's the issue because you can go out and drink with them, but when it's time to come out and drink with me. Y'all want to do it. So, so gentlemen, we can my all girl, say that's strange. Right? my girl ever be out to drink. So that's strange, right? I don't, don't want to say, say what I okay. want to say because I'm trying to be respectful, but that's okay. a weirdo act. That is, that is very strange. Then you got to ultimate. No, 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 no. But that's how it happens. Yes, it happens. It happens more than but, usual, though. But my yeah. girl, like, okay, I was in a relationship where my girl didn't like to drink, so I was going out and be like, I get lit and she just stayed there. So that's a never got. Mm-hmm. But if my, if me and my girl in the same vibe, ain't, no, ain't nobody be breaking that shit. Yeah. First off, I might be like, yo, come out with the homies so we from the vibe, and when you tell me it's out, I'm going to be like, hey, see y'all niggas yeah. tomorrow. Like, okay, so, but, but we can... But think about it this yeah, way, yeah. Think about it this way, though. If you got a boy's night out of your crib, bro, let me tell you, bro, like... I literally, I've been having this, I have, I literally, my sister, she keep it so 100 with me, and that's why I love her. If, and when I get in a relationship, it's like, you got a boys night out, right? Right. Your girl at her crib, she chilling. It's the weekend. I go out during the week, it's cool, and I, and I like it, it's cool, but... The week vibe compared to the weekend vibe completely so different. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? Vibe. And everybody can guilty. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm guilty of it. But at the same time, it's like this 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 I'm gonna keep this I'm gonna keep with y'all though. If I'm in a relationship and I'm going out with the guys on the weekend, okay, and my girl at the crib chilling, alright, look, invite your girls over. We'll go ahead. I I honestly this, this is me, like speaking relationship quiet. If I'm in a relationship. This is how we gonna kick it, this is how we gonna kick it. If I'm in a relationship, I'm going out with the guys on the weekend. All right, my girl at the crib. All right, babe, cool. I'm going out with the guys. I know you at the crib, chilling. Whatever, cool. She hit, what advice she hit me up. Come home. I'm gone. But I'm saying, though, at the same time, though. For no reason? If she hit me up, yeah. Just come I'm, home? I don't think yeah, she girl, tell me come home, I'm, I'm out. out for one hour. No, 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 not, listen, listen. I don't care. No. She say come home. Now listen, y'all, y'all. Look, look. She say come home. Because nine times out of ten, I'm Clock. already, she already going to be lit with me. We're going to pregame before we go no, out. No. I'm pregame if, if, <laughs> you know, I'm pregame pregame with my girl. I'm pregame with my girl before we go out. That's it. Hold on, let me finish what I'm trying to get to. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, let me finish my This is my point. This is my situation. Let me get back to it. All right, so look. I agree with you. So my girl. I ain't gonna lie, 10 times out of 10, all right, babe, what's up? We gotta take some shots, we turn up. All right, what time you gotta be there? All right, getting dressed, we turn up, music, all that, okay, cool. If I'm gone and she had a crib chilling and I'm in a relationship, I'm gonna be like, all right, babe, here, I'm gonna I'm a leave, I'm a leave her, uh, first of all, I'm gonna leave her, I'm gonna leave her some money and stuff. If she wanna invite her girls over, okay, you trying to invite your girls over, trying to chill? Yeah, dog, no, just leave money, dog, just leave, leave, leave some money on the counter. Just, Every she get time. hungry. She get hungry. Oh, yeah. She get hungry. She might want to eat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm about to bring it home. I'm about to bring it home. I'm about to bring it home. You got cash. So look, I go to the bank. What's what's the bank? We're going to the bank. Get some money. You got a card, right? Yeah, but okay. Was Uber? Shit? Yeah, no, 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 no. Leave her, leave her, let leave her the money. So you just leave the cash on the table. Just leave her the cash and just be like, like hey, no, photo. Oh, Okay. You're wild. Wait, we get that. Like, hold on, let me bring it home though. Let's cut that part out. Right. Let me bring it home though. So, so I want her. So honestly, so honestly, if I'm going out with guys, like nine you. times out of ten, she's gonna call her best friends over to the crib to come kick it with her to entertain her while while I'm out, right? So the thing is, and how to keep it cool is like, okay, you out with your guys, your girl having fun, she got her girls over or whatever, leave some cash, get, get some food or whatever. Y'all want to go to the liquor store. Whatever y'all going to do, y'all can have a girls night at the crib. 
if your girl is all, if your girl really, if your girl really is riding for you and really true, like she gonna understand, like okay, they need a night out with the guys or whatever you gonna trust. Mm-hmm. He come back home, I'm cool with that. I got my girl there, and if she got some friends, your boy's already gonna be like, oh, hey man, what's your girl doing? Hey, I just see. <laughs> I just seen, I just seen such and such. She was at your crib with your girl. Man, like, wait. oh, we pulling no, up or whatever. Sorry. But hold on, let me bring it home. Let me bring it home for yeah, you, though. Let me bring it home for you. Because home come so. first. Like <laughs> Jay Z said, I don't care if that motherfucker on fire. I'm staying with my girl. And he said that shit in a song. But I'm with it, though. Right? At the end of the day. But you just, right you just drove around but, the block. No, <laughs> no, no, let me tell you. No, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Because at the end of the night, when you out with your boys, you still got to go home to your girl at the end of the day. Yeah. But you still gotta I, go home and the day. I agree with you, no. but you have to like every single time stop, you go out, stop, stop, stop. So listen, listen, listen. They listen. made she got a best friend. She gonna be like, oh, let me, let oh, let he let me some money, or you know what I'm saying? Like we eat, bro. What's up. what you want to eat? Like, is it you just? Travel. But let me hold on, hold on. Let me finish. 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 Let me Because the first thing, the first thing, and my dad told me this. My dad told me this. That's the eighties. Oh. I don't care. It don't matter. That's when real love is yes. just though. Back then. Or well, let me tell you. Hold on. Let me bring it back. Let me bring it home. Let me bring it home. Hold on. Let me bring it home though. Because Nip. Because Nip. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because Nip. Because Nip said he studied Lauren. And I love that shit though. Because my dad studied my mom. And yes. when I be home, my mom be like. But it's time frame differences. My dad walk in the house. He know exactly what my mom wanted yes. to eat. He yeah, bring food. what I'm talking about. But okay. And whatever. No, but I'm saying though, bro. You got to know your female though, bro. Okay. You got to know your female, dog. You got to know your female. That's all you got to say? So first thing, no, no. Jim makes sure she happy. So bro. first thing, okay, 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 okay. So like I said, you you walk around the block to say make her happy. My point is this. <laughs> don't do him. Oh no, 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 uh, <laughs> all, all, everything you did, including the point at me, I heard that. Don't worry about that because I'm good like that. Right. But listen, the point is this: I don't care who y'all are. If my girl called me, I don't need to give an explanation to any of you all. But why I'm leaving? You don't have to. That's, but you just did. You just like yo, I got to do all this. That's oh, my point. I didn't say no, 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 no. My sure point is this: I'm I'm out, bro. That's it. Listen, first of all, I'm not leaving my girl no money because she should have access to enough money. Before I get out of that, because that's the situation that I'm in. No, no, no. I'm talking about me. Like Broadcasting for me. It's not about balling. It's about this. Both of you Michael, look, look, look. I'm not leaving the freaking house <laughs> without a couple things going on. My nephews call me for money. So if my girl can't get access to my money, then I am in the wrong kind of situation. But what's wrong with leaving her couple of dollars, though? This is why. No, he said because she no, got no, 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 no. to the money. Because so there's a negative. Know. And I know y'all looked at me crazy when I said that, but this is the thing. Leaving money for someone is a negative connotation so girl, from the get go. No, no, no. I'm just telling you, quote unquote, leaving money. Like I got. You gonna spend it out with your boys, listen, with listen, strangers? So I why not spend it with your boys? What's he saying? You don't have to leave money. If I am walking my behind out of the door, that's cool. My girl has Same access concept. to enough of everything. But you gonna you gonna let your girl to go to the bank and get money? No, because my girl ain't going no goddamn bank at ten o'clock at night. For what? I'm saying, but. She got access to everything but I got, got access to. But if, but so let me finish. Okay. Lies, lies. She got access to his car. I understand it. No, 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 no. My girl has access to everything I have access I to. With it, I am not okay. walking out the door. There's a couple people. My mom. So y'all got shared you know, accounts? Yeah, yes. If you like that, you're Whoa. supposed to be. I fuck with this your girlfriend? Listen, if I'm look, yeah. I fuck with it. Okay. This is how I operate. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm talking about. First of all, understand this because they know me. You said a little bit different. I fuck with it though. This is how they. When I am with you, I don't trust everybody. Maybe it's my military background. Joint account for the girlfriend. I have a girlfriend. It's not about for girlfriends. For everybody saying joint accounts and all that, you don't need joint accounts. We'll start an account. She has access to the things that I have access to. For example, if she's gonna be on Uber Eats or something like that, she can get her fucking food through my account. She's supposed to with it. If she needs to fill up her fucking car or something like that because she ain't got it, I'm filling she up can car access my shit. Up exactly, car. she can access my shit to where she can like do that. Yo. But the point is this: I'm not going to be like I gotta go to the bank and get some money, y'all, because I ain't going to the goddamn bank. You better be able to do that shit well, online. Hold on. It's 2022. Yeah. Now, but, but wait, but wait, no, 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 no. But wait, the point of it is this: class, at the end of the day, like me, but, but no, no, it don't matter. The overarching point is this. In my personal opinion, and maybe this is where the disconnect is happening between men and women. 
I do not do a God forsaken thing, but for certain people in my life, I know are taken care of. I feel that. That's just how it is. My mom's is good. My nephew's good. Yeah. My girl, good. Yeah. I worry about y'all niggas next. Like, I'm not, like, all that, like, if my girl <laughs> caught, like, if we out together, because y'all done seen me do this shit, if right. we out together, we, I don't give a fuck if we plan a trip. And my girl be like, you ain't going because I'm mad. I will cancel when y'all see me do it. I've now, seen it. But the point is this. Because your girl, you. listen, listen, you. girl, listen, my girl is in a different lane than you guys. I feel yeah. I love y'all. Y'all my boys. She might have my fucking kids. We're not going to have a debate with her like she got a debate with Clyde and Jalen. Yeah. Because that's fucking but, weird. But, and my, but my point is this. Even if she's wilding, it happens. No offense, ladies. Mm-hmm. Sometimes y'all getting y'all bullshit. It happens. I mean, my bullshit. But the point, exactly. And I said it. Sometimes I mean my bullshit. But the point is this: if my girl is like, "Look, I am in my bullshit right now, and I know it, but I need you (laughs) to be in this bullshit with me. I am there. Why? Because to me, that is important. Like it, it, it matters." So, so all this who's right and who's wrong sometimes shit don't matter to me. I'm I'm just saying my girl gets priority. Go ahead. And that, I'm not going to finish. No, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm going to say it's my girl get priority in this situation. I'm not understanding where these type of men are at because what y'all speaking right now is like. Okay. I'm, well, it's I not y'all don't want to know what that's like. Y'all good. Y'all good. But these other niggas, like, leaving money for your girl, joint accounts, that is not what they got going on right now. Like, at all. I had, 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 uh, a female basically tell me she was emotionally unavailable and I was trying to do all the things this nigga was doing because hey, I go lie this nigga I be trying to learn from this nigga this nigga right here be doing what's up I be trying to learn from this nigga but don't get it twisted I feel like also stop poking like, me pause <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but I feel like also like I'm not saying that there's not trash men out here because there are oh no we should trash sometimes y'all know we're trash niggas yes but I also feel like every once in a while they come around the block and they can be like, hold up, let me try to fix myself. And that's when it, that's when a nigga get hit with the I'm not ready type shit. And you like, oh, what the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because that's it. Because if you're ready to do all the shit, don't get it twisted, bro. We've talked about this in the past. There's I levels to this. There's levels to this it's, shit. It's levels, there's levels to this shit. So if it's you, levels. I don't see myself as a basic nigga. So no disrespect, but if you a basic female... I'm not gonna do these extra things for you. I will. Now, I'll do something for a basic female though, cause she gotta learn. Like you gotta, you gotta, you I gotta agree teach. Okay. okay. I agree with no, 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 no. I agree with not, not everybody. Not everybody. Okay. Now let's ask. Would y'all you know do these extra shit for a basic if, nigga? If I no, you I can't I can't stop. Stop. no. Wait, wait, hold on. What? No. It depends. If he went like, his car right and then respectful all of that. Now this depends because. Do you date down? Let's ask that question. Stop. Do you date? Listen, listen. <laughs> very simple. Stop. Stop. We're going to ask a very simple question. Because I was getting there. I was getting there. Stop. No. Stop doing your hands like that. <laughs> what are you willing to I will. date a man? I'm not female. asking. I'm 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 dating a female now. But we do that. But we do that. We do that. Are you willing to date a man who is lower than you on a totem pole with finances and education? Yes, and I have. Because I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. So I'm a, I am a very independent female. I do not, for one, I don't let niggas take care of my bills. I don't let nobody pay my bills. I pay my own bills. I don't ask for you to ever pay for anything. If we go on a date, I'll pay for the date before you pay for it. If I be- oh, no, hold on, 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 Yo, if I beat you to it, if I beat you to it, I'm going to tell you why. Some niggas feel very obligated if they pay for something. And I have been in a situation and I said I will never in my life be in that situation again where a person felt obligated. So, but I'm very independent anyways. Like I don't want a man to feel like he has to take care of me. I could take care of myself. I don't need anybody to take care of me. But I don't mind doing that because like I don't mind teaching you as well. Like, how I would want a man to teach me if I was in that situation. I don't mind teaching you about, like, okay. credit, about learning how to... Because I feel like everybody, <laughs> at some point, needs that help. Everybody doesn't 
come from that. But then again, mom, like, but it's not about that. Like, if you was in a situation and you was dating a man, would you want a man to not date you because you was below him? Let me. But you you was really fucked. Let me talk. But hold up, but hold up, but hold up, but hold up, hold up. But then again, hold up. But then again, I come from a family. I am the only girl. I have four brothers. I I have a lot of men in my family, and you know what? I would not want for my brother to be fucking with a girl. All of a sudden, she was like, "Well, I don't want to fuck with you." Because your finances ain't right. Because this ain't right. Like, like, why can't you teach him? Because you know what? You never know what can happen. Like, a, a lot of, but you know what? A lot of these rich people out here, they're homeless. They sit in their cars and look at it now. Like, now a lot of females want them. Uh, and then what if that was you? Like, what if you was like, well, I don't want to be with him. And next thing you know, that nigga leveled up. And now he got a good ass job. And he's way more financially off better than you. And you don't lost that because you don't want to fuck with him. Because he can't do this for you. Like, you like if you if you're independent, that shouldn't matter. You shouldn't have to rely on somebody to take care of you. <laughs> okay, okay. So, let, me, let me get up in there. Let me get up in there. Let me get up in there. Okay. Me and Rachel are literally opposites completely. Okay, talk to us. I am I'm independent just like she is. I have Max. my own apartment, I have my own Max. car, everything's on my name, everything is paid off. Yeah, with the lights on it. With the lights on it, fully furnished, Big everything. Boy. My ex I used to date niggas below me. Mm. I used to not care. Like, I used to feel like, okay, I can help you out. I can do all of that. I feel like once you start doing that, it opens doors for where niggas feel comfortable. And then they are comfortable where they at, so they don't want to boss up. And, like, you know, because they're, in their mind, like, she's okay with, with that. Like, she's okay with me not having this. Like, what the fuck do I have to get that now? And I feel like now, after de- dealing with my ex, I know where I'm at, I know the level where I'm at, and I want a man, if you want to come in my life, and if you want to date me, if you want to be together, I feel like you should meet me, like, why should I have to lower myself, like, why should I have to come down to meet you, like, if you're not ready, that's fine, get yourself ready before you go out searching for a relationship, like, if you don't know credit at your grown-ass age, if you don't have an apartment for me to lay my head at at night, if you don't have a car, if you don't have none of this, you need to step back for a second, Figure it out, you know, work on you. And then when you're ready, when you have all these things, Mm -hmm. then you should go out looking for a female. But I feel like as a grown ass man, not having shit and your only priority is getting bitches, getting a relationship and you don't have nothing to bring to me. I feel like that's kind of fucked up because now I have to work harder to take care of me. And now I'm also taking care of you. I'm not your fucking mom. Okay, hello. I got something to say. But (laughs) now I feel like it's different. When you do it and they're not taking anything and learning from it. Because I had a guy. I had to give him an ultimatum. I said, look. Not the ultimatum. I know I did. Because, because I'm like, <laughs> no, no. Because I, I was there. And I was like, look. I'm doing this. You you don't. you Like that motivation ain't there. You're not getting it. At this point, I'm hustling more than you. I'm making more. But I'm doing this for you. And I need you to meet me. And you know what? He did. He said he started doing better. He started meeting me. He he got a better job. May started making better money. Started doing better with financial, like just financially wise stuff. I was teaching him. He started to learn. Even his credit started getting better. So stuff I was teaching him, he was doing. So it's a difference between if you teach someone and they're not doing anything, then all right, cool. Now they gotta go. But if you're teaching them, I feel because I feel like some people don't have the people to teach. And like me, I have my parents and my family to teach me certain stuff growing up but some people don't have that and some people literally don't have nobody in their life to teach them anything let's not use that an excuse rachel no 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 but you know what some people but everybody's not you but no 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 it's not this you hold on let me talk let me talk let me talk hold on hold on but everybody hold on 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 I feel like it's not an excuse, but I also feel like everybody isn't the same. Everybody right. don't learn the same, right. and everybody do not do everything right. the same. Like me, I don't learn the same way fancy learn. Y'all, right. y'all don't learn the same way I learn. Everybody right. learn right. different, right. and some people sometimes that one support, that one good support, can really, really be that one big help for that one person. And you never know how. Like some people, that may not be it for them, but some people, that's that's yeah. that's it for them. And so even though like that's not really an excuse, that's just you're yeah, you're that one person for them to help them get to that point. Like they may be at their lowest point, but just because you're there 
and you're helping them, that could push them up here. And, and they can have that motivation. But and a lot and, of and times I push them up, and once they get to that level, they gonna leave you and get a bad bitch. Let's talk about it. Because now, if you want to talk about it, let's put it on the table. But I don't want to talk. But that happens. Come on, come on. I disagree with that. I disagree with that. Wait, wait, wait. Because you know what? No, every day I seen it with my eyes. I feel like I feel like that makes up. Because you know what? If somebody did that for me. That's gonna make me ride for them ten times harder right, yeah. and fuck with you ten times harder because you in my corner. But you know what? That is like that. But so okay, but that that goes with what I said before. So Rachel, so, what I said, everybody so Rachel, don't learn the so same. So Rachel, what it sounds like is that you've had experiences where you had to uplift people, and it's uh-huh. worked. But I, I'm a very big like I'm very like if I really fuck with you, I'm gonna really fuck with you and I'm gonna help you. Gotcha. Whether you my friend, whether you my boyfriend, no matter who you are, right. if I really fuck with you, I'm gonna help you with whatever you need help with. But it sounds like Fancy has had some experiences. With Rachel that. knows about my ex. Of course, and it, now, it, now, it's now, like, now, now we don't need to go. I won't even about try that. it. I won't even try it. But like Jayla, if it comes to me not having shit, like I won't. And it's sad to say, but I won't even answer. Now it. I can't. I'm gonna give my input at the end. But I'm gonna first let Jalen ask this question. Go ahead. <gasps> so this is my question. We're talking about people better than themselves and everything, right? Being above, below people, whatever. So obviously we know it's some ancient ass niggas who they live with their mama, they mm-hmm. ain't got shit. They might got some money to impress some females on the weekends, but they don't got shit yeah. going for them, right? Now let's say you meet a dude, he got shit going for him. Obviously he going through some shit. We're not saying he like down here, he not at his lowest, but if you see potential in someone, and you ride for them like Rachel talking about, do y'all not see that as... Because there's dudes out here who going through shit, but they still going to give you all the fuck that they can if give If I see potential, I'm going to work with you. Of course I'm going to work with you. Like, why, why would I not? Like, even though you don't, you're not where you need to be, if you're working towards that, then I'm going to be by your side. What I do not like is when they do not have nothing and they're comfortable and then they start taking advantage. So I will say that, and I will, and I will say that I'm not disagreeing with you on sometimes niggas take advantage of women, and mm-hmm. like once they level, like the, the woman, the woman got their back, then they level up, then they're looking for something else. Now it's like, oh, I'm, I'm good now. You're not yeah. good for me. But I also think I that leaving. hold up, hold up, listen I'm exactly. Right. So listen, what I'm saying is I also think that I also think there's a lot of niggas who don't get the respect they deserve for staying with their down girl. A lot of athletes do that shit. There's a couple of rappers, and I'm not saying it's a lot of them, mm-hmm. but it's a couple of them. I don't know if y'all know who Tuzi is, but this man, been, oh, he been yeah. in a yeah. relationship his whole goddamn career. So what I'm saying is, and now she's pregnant. Sometimes, like Rachel was saying, <laughs> like, if I good for them, exactly, if I got a girl who really riding for me, and it's like like classic, because trust is big for me. Oh, I don't trust. Boy. I don't that trust one, that one, the Trust, loyalty. I mean, everything else. You a hard worker. You a husband. Cats don't know the four chairs, bro. That shit gonna make me. Be like, bro, you got me fucked up with my girlfriend to be out here hustling for me, and I'm finna be a broke ass nigga. Like, ain't no way. Mm-hmm. So I think that, even though I know you had a bad, some bad experiences, mm-hmm. I think sometimes if you take that shit to the let right, me ask you this right right person, has, 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 has your last relationship mm-hmm. like damaged you in regards to like your mindset of like future relationships? Rachel, like, hold on to your question. That's man. cool. That's yeah. cool. And it, and that's that's fine though. And that's cool that you admit that because. I feel like everybody has experienced that because I went through similar situations too. Mm-hmm. But I take the positive out of it. Yeah. And then you gotta realize like it's not it's not something that you want to advance or even try to expose to the person that you meet or try to give another chance. What he's saying is you don't want to carry that with you. Yeah. Which you know, I understand. You don't carry that burden, and don't carry I try not to, but it's like I just refuse to thing. to go through that again. No, like course. I absolutely fucking refuse, and it's like I learned a lot from that. So it's like once I start seeing the red flags in my mind, immediately I'm like, oh of hell course. no! Like yeah. you gotta motherfucking go. And sometimes I do take an L because it's not really Everybody a permanent does. red flag, like you know. But that's just my L, it, you know. There's never taken it. Listen, in my personal opinion. You never take an L for decisions you make based solely on facts. Mm-hmm. Facts. If it's your personal experience, whatever you've done, whatever you've been through, just, you've made that position. That L no, is no, a no, lesson. no, because it's name. Yeah. It's a lesson. Yeah, a loss. Yeah. The real shit which you take L's off of is when you make decisions based off of others, because you had no say so in that. You can't even mm-hmm. learn from that shit because you don't even know why the hell you did it. You just did it because <laughs> such and such said it, and you're like, "Oh damn, that sucks." And now you just like, "Why That's did I do that?" I, do. I don't even know what such and such was thinking when it happened. Yeah. When it happened, you know. So, 
So if, if that, and we're gonna get into that in a minute. But first, Rachel, you had something you want to say? Uh, I just want to say that you. I feel that it's it's a difference. Now I feel like if it's you never know why a reason like the reason why somebody is lower than you because right. I feel like I can't speak for all of y'all but I don't come from a very rich family um so I just feel like you you never know the reason why somebody's going through something and I feel like it's the difference between them actually not doing something on them like them just not wanting to work is a complete different thing mm -hmm. between life actually hitting them and some shit actually going down and you know, like, that's just like, like, I remember, like, when my mom and dad got a divorce, my mom was a stay-at-home mom. My mom, she has a lot of sicknesses or whatever. So, when my dad divorced, like, when they got a divorce, like, my mom was left with nothing. She had to leave the house. It was a lot. Like, she left with nothing. And, like, that's one of the main reasons why I'm so independent. I was like, I would never let a man have me in that position where I would be left with nothing. But I feel like that would be fucked up if a man was like, I don't want to talk to her because she don't have this. I feel like that's very fucked up because you never know, like, what, like, what's the reason, like, what's the reason why you're going through that? And I feel like you learn as you talk to him. But I feel like if you're, if you're like a great person, you know, you're a genuine person, you have a great like inside or whatever. Um, and I feel like I can vibe with you and I can really fuck with you. I can work with that, but because I'm the type of person where if you're slacking. I could pick up that slack. Now, it can't be mm. an all-the-time thing, but I'm willing to do that if I'm really fucking with you. Like, if we go on a date, like, if we go out to lunch, if I go, let's go out to lunch, I know you don't have it, I'll be like, you know what? Like, I'll pay for this lunch date. Mm. You know, if, if you want some shoes or whatever and you really struggling, I'll pay for the shoes. What? So, and, but, and, but, but, you know, but I want it to be vice versa because, you know, what? I feel like if I was in the same mm. position and you take me out to lunch, you, you could pay for it, like, if, if it was vice versa. And I feel like if I'm getting that same energy back and I, like, the more you talk to people, the more you kind of feel whether it's just them not wanting to do anything and them very comfortable in the situation versus mm -hmm. it's a life thing. And they're actually trying to get back on their feet, but it's just life hitting them. Because yeah. so life happens to everybody. No, 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 it does. And we're about to, yeah. before we move on to the next question, no, because you got to, I got some yeah. yeah, so listen, life. listen, listen, <laughs> we're about to get an intermission and I'm going to, I was going to let you guys know what the next question was, but I think I'll hold on to it. So everybody who got to get up. Whatever you could do, it needs to. Yeah, I'm asking this question, but <laughs> first things first, I want okay. to say something, and this is my overarching view of everything. <clears throat> to me, no matter what you do, I don't think you should cut people off. So I agree with you, Rachel, but I also agree with you, Fancy. This is the thing everything you learned in life, Fancy, I love has that, propelled like you. How no, 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 <laughs> has life propelled, knows, they don't, they don't yeah. think like the that. Strength, yeah. The I strength, the strength, it's strong. You get man. stronger from the shit you go through. But at the same time, I agree with Rachel too because you don't want to let that mm -hmm. pigeonhole you to whoever. Mm -hmm. So for me, I do not, I have never once and I don't now, pigeonhole people. Like if you make less than me or more than me, whatever, it's whatever. But also take what you've matter. learned from life and implement that. Yeah. I.e., which is why men, we're not gaslighting when we say choose better. What we mean is... If you dated a dude who used to do something to you and you're dating another dude and they got the same damn characteristics, let them go early. Yeah. So you're not in that. And it's simple. It's because, okay, this got the same characteristics. You're not, you need to change things up. But like Rachel said, you don't want to let them go. There's a difference between character flaws in life flaws, you know what I'm saying? At least how it's you can change character. Yeah, flaws. you can yeah. change your yeah. your. No, I don't even say that. I think you are more likely to change life flaws. You can change a job, in my opinion. You can get a better job, but if you're a character, like I'm a petty nigga. Yeah. I'm even petty to the day they put me in my grave. I swear to God, <laughs> like I don't give a fuck. Oh I, like, I don't even change. I don't care. Like people look at me like, yo, I you, hey, listen, you listen, like listen, petty. and you know what? I I'm cool with that. But you know what? Q's honest. I'm like, listen, I'm petty. I'm that dude that you say something. I'm like, yep, got him. Like I'm that guy. But you know that from the gate. You know what I'm saying? But I know I can't change that about myself. My father is that. I'm from the King Arthur of petty. Like you know what I'm saying? We got round table petty niggas. My grandmother's petty. She passed it to me. I'm passing my nephew. I'm petty. But life flaws. I've gotten better in life every fucking year. 
I've made more money every year. I've like, you know, all that, that's, I can change that. I feel like people change that. But my life, if a girl can't deal with a petty nigga, it's like, yo, I can't deal with you. I'm like, you know what, it's cool. I let that go. No, I feel that. So that's, that's how I look at it. So I appreciate you guys. Uh, intermission time. Go pee, everybody. Yeah.